This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, looks like Monique is suing Netflix for discrimination. She posted, hi, my loves. I can confirm that today I filed a pay discrimination lawsuit against Netflix. I had a choice to make. I could accept what I felt was pay discrimination, or I could stand up for those who came before me and those who will come after me. I chose to stand up. I don't have any further comment at this time, but I appreciate all of your love and support. So we will see what happens with this lawsuit because she does love us for real. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of diverse programming mm-hmm. on Netflix. I mean, you have people of all races, all genders, all sexualities, all religions. That's going to be a tough one to fight. God bless Monique, man. I wish her the best. Right, she claims that Netflix allowed Kevin Spacey to use the N-word while on the set of House of Cards without any consequence. Uh, she also says that Kevin Spacey complained to his personal security guards, I don't want N-words on my set anymore. She also used a major pay gap on the show The Crown on Netflix to illustrate alleged discrimination. She says the actress who played Queen Elizabeth II was paid 14000 per episode, less than the actor who played Prince Philip, and it only righted that wrong after there was a public outcry about that. Let, let me ask you guys a question, right? Mm-hmm. You can sue a company even if you weren't the one victim of it? So if I say Angelique gets this paid and Charlemagne gets this paid, it's not fair. Angelique well, she does say more? she was a victim because of the offer that she got. Yeah, but I just mm-hmm. don't understand how you prove racial and gender discrimination when they have so many different races and so many different genders on Netflix. Like, how do you prove that the whole company is racist just because you didn't get a deal? Well, but you know what? Go, do your thing, Monique. Well, the, well, the part happens. that's racist, I guess she's saying, is the pay, the discrimination as far as pay. Not just that they don't get the opportunity, but they're not getting equal pay. So we shall see what happens. Okay. Yeah, we will see. I know we got a uh, Flame Monroe on next hour. Flame Monroe is from a Netflix show called Day Ready. That's uh, presented by Tiffany Haddish, a black woman, and Flame Monroe is a bl- black transgender. <laughs> you stuck him, man. Transgender, because I don't, I don't know what to call Flame, but he'll be here next hour. She, She'll be here next she, hour. She'll oh. be we, here. He, well, he calls himself. Well, All right, just he, forget she, it. We. Yes. <laughs> just, we'll, okay, we'll, let's we'll talk move on. Flame. We'll talk to Flame. We'll talk to Flame. All right, now let's discuss J-Lo. She sat down for the Hollywood Reporter's annual Actress Roundtable. She was with Lupita Nyong'o, Renee Zellweger, Laura Dern, Scarlett Johansson, and Aquafina, And she talked about one experience she had with a director who asked her to go topless. A director at a fitting asked uh, me to take my top mm. off. To well, because what? I was supposed to do nudity in the movie. Oh. I remember like being so panicked in the moment, like, oh my God. And by the way, there was a costume designer in the room yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there was a wo- another woman in the mo- room with me, and he says this, and I was like, no. You know, luckily, a little bit of the Bronx came out, you know what I mean? And I was like, I don't have to show you my... And because I put up a little boundary right there and said no, he, he, he laid off and then later on apologized. But the minute he walked out of the room, the costume designer was like, I'm so sorry. Wow. Imagine that. You're not even on set or anything, and they're saying, I want to see your breasts before we even film this. So fortunately for her, she did not fall victim, but a lot of people would have. Mm-hmm. All right, Boosie, Boosie Badass, his album, Talk That Ish, is out. So I'm sure you guys are excited for that. I'm going to make sure I listen to that today. Boosie Badass. Also, Tory Lane's Chicks Tape 5 is out, featuring Lil Wayne, Snoop Dogg, uh, the whole track listing. I know you guys saw it, and I know you're interested to see this Chicks Tape. Listen to Chicks Tape 5. We thought it was only going to be four, and now he has the fifth one out. Uh, of course, you've seen the album cover with Ashanti, which looks amazing. Uh, Fab is on there, Lloyd, Little Wayne, Luda, The Dream, Maya, Mario, Chris Brown, a lot of uh, Jagged Edge and Jermaine Dupri. Mm-hmm. Sounds good, right? Mm-hmm. So far from what we know. Now, Tory Lanez was on and he was talking about um, Drake and Drake actually doing the Camp Flognaw Festival. And he was on Big Boy, right? Yes, he was big on with Big Boy and here's mm-hmm. what he said. You know, me and Drake laughed about it. It was funny, like, we was dead ass on the text laughing about Aww. it. But it's just like, Boy, you know you had no business, boy, being at Camp Flock. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say back? Nah, he was just laughing. He was just like, yo, that's what for the books, bro. Like, it just, <laughs> <laughs> but you know it what? just didn't matter to him. Like, you got to yeah. remember, like, no offense to whoever was at Camp Flognar or whatever. But, bro, I mean, come on. Yeah. The kids was on a ride, bro. Like, at the end of the day, it's still Drake. Drop on the clues about the Tory Lanez. He's absolutely right. Mm-hmm. And uh, Tory Lanez is also a founding member of Club Trap Toupee. Oh, my goodness. Uh, him, DJ Envy, Tiger, LeBron James. Pretty good company, man. It's a great company. But I don't have a But you know what? At nothing. least Tory Lanez is honest about it. Tiger's honest That's about it. That's why I respect it. Tory. 
Salute to Tori, uh-huh. salute to Tiger. What is, what is Tori having, coming up here? So he gets having way more heart than DJ Envy. All right, he's coming up next week. So you and, can understand that mine is real. It's not no plug. It's not no it whatever is real. you call it. Listen, a lot of people say it's real because it is their real hair. It might be a transplant from another person. No of your transplant. Body. I didn't take no hair from my said, butt, nothing. As, as Michael, Arms, pits, nothing. Those are follicles. Okay? They're not follicles. You're going to do a show. You're going to do a new podcast called Meet the Follicles with you and Tiger. Okay? Mm-mm. Meet the follicles. Instead All right, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. <laughs> Who are you giving your donkey the to? The follicle family. Huh? Who are you giving your, you heard me. Who are you giving your donkey the to? Follicle rock. Huh? 